Hey everybody, it's Party Elite with the first of hopefully many legendary difficulty quest battles on this channel. If you'd like to see more of these and aren't already a subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe callout at the bottom right corner of this video. We're starting these off with Vlad von Karstein's Blood Drinker quest battle. Fought in legendary difficulty, this battle can be a challenge if you let yourself get cornered or surrounded. I have not seen such a pathetic sight since my father-in-law Otto took his last breath. Is this all that thine empire can muster? What a pitiful age this is. It makes me ponder for the era of worthy foes such as Wilhelm or that wolf knight Kruger. Not this pathetic squabble of mortal men. Yet my sword thirsts and so it shall be slaked in the blood of living fools that think to challenge the might of von Karstein. Let the slaughter begin! So first things first, you'll notice I've split my army up into three distinct parts here. You've got the main sort of contingent off to this side here, two units of Felbats over here that'll be used to harass and uh, bait the Empire, and the two direwolves are actually in the rear here, tucked away, hidden in these two sets of uh, woodlands, I guess. Uh, the thinking there was that uh, in the quest battle screen, we are told that the rocket batteries, there will be at least two on the battlefield. So I expected them to be somewhere in the rear section. And I was hoping to bait the Empire out nice and early so that I can send these direwolves in to take care of them so that they can't cause a lot of damage. And what happens is, as soon as the rocket batteries start firing at my Felbats, I push them off to the side this way. Now the reason why I do that is because I want to try and force a rotation from the Empire, and that's exactly what happens. So you'll see that my Dire Wolves, they do get sent down as soon as I see the opportunity, as soon as these two rocket battery units get isolated even just a little bit, I'm able to rush in, and before the Empire is able to intercept, I can dive in and cause a fair amount of damage here. You'll see both to health and morale. I've also got my army in the rear here, rushing down this way so that I can form up in this little uh, section over here and push down on this plain sort of area. Now the reason why I'm pushing this way as opposed to this way closer to apply pressure is because I'm worried about the Hellstorm rocket batteries. I don't want to give them too much time to fire up my lines, which they would have had they gone down this path. Also, a flanking unit does come in from this side, which if you play the battle multiple times, you will know. I got very lucky, I didn't realize that was going to happen, but um, a flanking unit does come down this way. So that positioning really helps take care of those guys very quickly. Now, back here you'll see the rocket batteries are very quickly taken care of by these direwolves. Of course, that is something that they are very proficient at doing. And I have to order the direwolves to continue chasing these rocket battery units. You want to make sure that you completely wipe them off the field. You want to shatter them. Because if you just leave them routing, they might return and then they go back to their uh, to their equipment and they're able to open fire at your troops again. So once they are shattered and they're not coming back, I pull the direwolves back. Uh, these guys I do send back in just to try and hurt the uh, crossbowmen a little early, but that proves to be a fatal mistake as they do get very quickly taken care of. Meanwhile, these direwolves I do eventually pull back as I notice that this is not a ideal situation for these units, so I do pull them back. And in the meanwhile, back here, before my main army has even arrived at its destination, as you can see, it was supposed to be here, uh, but before that's able to happen, the Empire's reinforcements do arrive, and as I mentioned, they've got a couple units of Hellstorm rocket batteries here. They have some Empire Knights as well, as well as some Spearmen. So it's a small set of units, but they can still cause a little bit of damage before you can take care of them. So you'll notice right away I begin to respond. Uh, these Crypt Horrors do get caught out, so I send these Crypt Horrors in as well, just to try and assist and mitigate some of the damage. All the infantry is ordered to pour into the units and these black knights are sent in. One unit is sent in to flank these uh, rocket battery units just to keep them occupied, make sure they aren't able to get those shots off because they will do a lot of damage. And meanwhile, this other unit of black knights, they get turned around and pulled down onto these spearmen just so I can cause a little bit of damage nice and early while they're still uh, you know, not able to brace for impact. Meanwhile, uphill, these uh, Grave Guard units and Skeleton Warriors all charge up. I'm trying to cause as much damage as quickly as possible. You'll see back here, these Hellstorm rocket batteries, they're being taken care of pretty easily by the Black Knights. Again, uh, artillery doesn't pose much of a threat to, uh, to cavalry, of course, and that's exactly the intent here. I want to have them occupied and quickly taken care of so they aren't able to fire into my infantry masses. 
Meanwhile, over here, you'll see that uh, the Empire is trying to use buffs to keep its units safe. I counter that by dropping a Dons Macabre. That gives me a little bit of extra melee attack. Helps with speed as well, just to chase down these Empire Knights. Uh, but it's really the melee attack that I'm looking for because I want to make sure that I can drop, again, I want to drop these units as quickly as possible. You'll see I'm having a bit of a struggle here. These Crypt Horrors, they aren't doing too well, especially against Spearmen and uh, Empire Knights. So that's a bit of a struggle. I do pull them back. Push these, uh, push these Black Knights in there. I know they're Spearmen, but I want to just hit them when they're not braced. Get a rear charge, hopefully break them. That's the intent there. And of course, I do want to try and get rid of these Empire Knights as well before they're given free reign. Now, uh, you'll notice as well, I've got a Master of Beguilement going down from Von Karstein. As I'm pushing him down to engage, I want to make sure that he's not able to cause too much damage either. So you'll notice this actually brings his melee attack right down to zero. So he's basically not doing any damage. And while he's not taking too much either, uh, because these guys aren't really able to penetrate his uh, his defenses, uh, at least he isn't damaging my troops. It's buying me some precious time while Vlad von Karstein slowly makes his way over. Uh, his speed is is a little lacking, but uh, when he gets there, uh, he gets the gets the job done. Now back here you'll notice I have the Black Knights as well as these Crypt Horrors just trying to dispatch these uh, Empire Knights here. Meanwhile the rest of the units have broken and shattered. Now what I did is I tried to chase down some of these units just to make sure they go all the way off the field. You'll notice this boundary here. I want to make sure that they leave that boundary or are shattered before I disengage. So I had a couple of zombies actually chasing Empire Knights out the field just to make sure that they don't come back afterwards. Meanwhile, over here, you'll see I send these other Black Knights in after they were done in this general area. I pulled them in here, and I also dropped uh, Aspect of the Dread Knight just to try and cause some terror, help uh, help frighten these Empire Knights away. Didn't work out. Their morale was just a little bit too high, but ultimately, they do, uh, they do get terrified when it drops, and they begin to run away. The next step is to respond to the second set of reinforcements that have come in from the Empire. The uh, dire wolves here were actually stationed back here, and at some point I had sent them up forward uh, because when the announcement was made that these reinforcements had arrived, I saw that they were pushing in, and so I moved these guys and stationed them over here so that they wouldn't be fired on by uh, by these handgunners, and so that when the handgunners came close enough, I was able to spring this trap and send these dire wolves over. So you'll notice I send these dire wolves off to chase these handgunners down because again, I want to make sure that the uh, ranged component of the Empire Army is quickly taken care of. These dire wolves come in and they cause a fair amount of damage to these handgunners, both in terms of health and morale, and of course, damaging HP helps damage morale as well, and very quickly they start to, uh, to rout. So that was very quickly done, very easily taken care of, and you'll notice these spearmen actually do come in to respond, but quickly disengage when there is uh, no reason to respond back here anymore. They wouldn't be able to catch the, uh, the dire wolves, so there's no reason to try and chase them down, especially when the handgunners have already basically given up. Now, these uh, crossbowmen are another concern, of course. want to make sure that they're not able to fire into my army as this approach continues. Of course, as the vampire counts, I don't actually have any ranged units, so I cannot take that chance. I can't let myself just be peppered by ranged fire, so I send these dire wolves back in now against the crossbowmen, again, trying to cause as much damage as possible, trying to get them off the field. And you'll notice as soon as they make impact, they cause a lot of leadership damage, uh, just dropping that morale immediately, even though uh, HP isn't damaged by too much, and that's extremely helpful. And this is how dire wolves can be most efficiently used. They're not a very expensive or a high value unit in many ways, but if you send them against low armor uh, ranged units, they can get a lot of work done. These Felbats as well, they get sent in uh, soon just to intercept and make sure that these crossbowmen are kept engaged so they aren't able to follow the army up and they aren't able to open fire before these lines meet. Meanwhile, over here, you'll notice that uh, as these lines are pushing forward, I actually am not able to form up as I'd wanted to before the engagements start. So what the intent was here, as you'll see, uh, I wanted to get my skeleton warriors back here, the zombies over here, and then on the side here, I wanted to get more warriors and cavalry with the intention of causing the engagement over here, pushing my skeleton warriors in after the zombies were engaged and holding the enemy in place, and then sending my cavalry and reserve units out to the side, hoping to get a lot of rear charges in and ultimately break the Empire Army. So that was the plan here. And you'll notice that because of how slowly the zombies move, I actually am not able to make it all the way before the engagements start. This unit of zombies there manages to engage these spearmen, which is helpful. Uh, these zombies do make it through and they're able to engage these spearmen. And uh, of course, Richter Wiesmund is uh, engaged by these zombies 
the uh, Master of Beguilement helping the zombies survive. Maybe not the best cast there, but you'll notice off to the side here, the spearmen are actually trying to chase down my cavalry, so I have to break my uh, formation a little bit, and I try to send these Graveguard with great weapons off to intercept them, but of course, not able to catch up, so I have to play a little bit of cat and mouse and just send these cavalry units away until the Empire finally decides to, uh, to disengage. You'll notice he just keeps giving chase, and I pull away once more, Meanwhile, you'll see that the uh, Felbats have taken care of these crossbowmen and the Dire Pack, or the Dire Wolves have taken care of these crossbowmen. So the range contingent is entirely taken care of. Meanwhile, Vlad von Karstein is battling Richter Wiesmund uh, just to make sure that he isn't able to support and to cause that extra morale damage. Again, extremely important. You'll notice now the cavalry is finally not being chased anymore by these spearmen, so I am able to send these Graveguard in to intercept and attack them. Meanwhile, the cavalry is coming around for a rear charge, and these Graveguard units are charging these Spearmen from the side. Again, just trying to get some morale damage in. You'll notice again another Don't Smoke Apple goes down, just helping me with that melee attack bonus. I want to get damage in as quickly as possible. And you'll notice as these Black Knights come charging in from the rear, a fair amount of morale damage takes place. And again, that's the idea here. I want to make sure that these units are ready to break, because dropping their health will take a long time. So you'll notice I also send in the Fell Bats, I'm also bringing the uh, the Dire Wolves back, and then finally I drop Aspect of Dread Knight, just giving myself a leadership bonus, but more important than that, rather, is the fact that I can cause terror. And you'll see as the uh, leadership begins to drop in the bulk of this Empire army, you'll notice very quickly they start to get terrified here. And you'll see all of these units are now terrified, or sh shattered or routing for one reason or another. So now it's just a matter of giving chase, and uh, making sure that they don't return from these shatters and these routes because obviously when you're terrified if you're not being chased you can be uh rallied but they weren't and i have a decisive victory on my hands so as you can see with proper use of morale damaging tactics a battle that might otherwise end with heavy losses was actually a decisive victory Hopefully this video gives you newfound appreciation for maneuvering your troops and shows the value of fear and terror. One way or another, make sure that you have access to terror as the vampire counts when fighting a psychologically susceptible army. The advantages are well worth the costs. As always, for more Total War content, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon on our next battlefield.